powerful and merciless, cold and cruel. Words like these have been used to describe Irma. You would think she's evil. Indeed, she is the master of dark magic, an evil queen known for stomping on those who threaten her throne. It's easy to judge from outsider shoes, but evil hearts are hearts in pain. Long ago, when Irma was just a little girl, her village was attacked by men accusing them of witchcraft, even though they were only harmless healers. She was born with the rare gift of divination and had seen the attack in a vision, and she warned her mother. Sadly, her mother only had time to prepare one last spell, and it was only for Irma. It was the power to shapeshift into her spirit animal, an owl. By the time the men arrived, Irma had flown away, and from a nearby treetop, she helplessly sobbed and watched as her village burned down. Since then, each time she closes her eyes, she's tormented with visions of her sorrowful past. Trauma and grief turned her gift into a curse, but shape-shifting, well, that kept her safe and alive. With time, she gathered the strength to fight and conquer her land alongside her survivors, and eventually she became their ruler and queen. I'd have to agree. Irma is ruthless, but she's not an unfair queen. She just won't tolerate exposing her realm to danger. And perhaps the inhumane assault upon her childhood village made her lose her sense of humanity. <laughs> she cannot sleep. Instead, she uses her time to perfect spells meant to protect younger witches and wizards from the outside world. But recently, and to Irma's surprise, she had another crystal clear vision, one of hope, a new family, a little girl, a daughter who is destined to become the most powerful witch of all, Irina.